Are you sick and tired of the same old truck stop food day in, day out, week in, week out? Are you tired of spending half your paycheck on meals when you're on the road? Now, what if I told you that I had a one pot dish that would cook as you were driving, that is simple to make, easy to put together, nutritious, and economical to make, that you could actually make every single day and switch up the ingredients as you see fit. So just a quick note, today's video is not our typical smart trucking content, but this is the first video in a series that we're going to do on truck driver lifestyle to make things easier and better for you on the road. So if you like this style of video and like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also a comment below. So let's go over what we'll need to make this dish. So here we have our ingredients for today. Uh, let me just go through a few of these. I have some prep chopped veggies for today's dish. I chose four carrots, half of a beet, uh, broccoli and zucchini. We have butter. We have a turmeric mix. We have olive oil, veggie broth, salt, pepper, and some dried herbs and a variety of spices, grains, and lentils in the jars. So I'll go through these jarred ingredients for you. First one I have is basmati rice. It's the rice that I standardly use in this recipe. Red lentils. Mung dal, and no, it's nothing weird. I'll explain more about it a little later. <laughs> and quinoa, good old quinoa. And this is good old sea salt. And this is jarred turmeric mixture. We'll talk more about that as well. In today's dish, we're using carrots, zucchini, broccoli, and beets. But you'll also see that we have some alternatives such as butternut squash, cauliflower, turnip, asparagus, Swiss char, you can also include potatoes, spinach, or any other bitter greens. Okay, so now we'll get started and put this dish together. First thing I'm going to add are two, actually I'll do three because you guys are big strappers. We'll do three tablespoons of lentils. Those lentils are called mung dal. The reason I chose them is they're dirt cheap and they're really really easy to digest. Three tablespoons of basmati rice. We already saw earlier we had the veggies pre-prepped, broccoli, carrots, a half of a beet. I like to put a beet and or a carrot and every time I make this dish because it actually just gives a little bit of sweetness to the dish which makes it really nice and gives it a lot of flavor and the fourth veggie zucchini so after we have those ingredients we're going to add some vegetable broth and I know you're going to ask me how much vegetable broth honestly I don't know <laughs> I just pour it until the veggies are about half covered. Throughout the time that you're making this dish you'll find that you will have to add more broth as as it cooks and the veggies absorb the broth and which is fine so just kind of kind of wing it about about half full in the crock pot. So the next thing we're going to add is a spice mixture. Now this particular spice mixture I made myself it's a combination of about three or four spices I'll leave the recipe in the description below, but you can actually use any spices. The ones that we just previously showed, oregano, thyme, parsley, dill, or a favorite combination you can buy in the grocery store. It's all good. They'll all work just fine. Next, we're going to give it a little splash of olive oil. So this is my secret ingredient that you just can't leave out. Now ghee itself is really not that cheap, but you 
once you've bought your jar of ghee or you've made homemade ghee, um, then it will last for a long, long time. But just look for a cheap jar in the grocery store. But honestly, it's what gives this dish pizzazz and, and great flavor. So you can also actually just use regular butter if you're not vegan, and, and that's totally fine. It will have the same, the same effect on the dish. It makes the dish also nice and rich. So I'm gonna put a couple of generous spoonfuls. Yikes. Okay, fingers. Sorry about that. Couple of big globs of ghee. Little bit of salt. You can always salt it later. Little bit of sea salt. Shot of pepper, ground pepper. And I add actually, and this is a turmeric mixture. You don't have to but I add a teaspoon to a tablespoon of turmeric. And again, this is not necessary. It tends to be a wee bit on the pricey side, but you might be able to find an alternative brand that's less expensive than this one that I picked up. I live in a small town and things tend to be overpriced. But if you do look at Walmart, you'll probably find one that's a lot more cost effective but it really adds nice flavor to the dish. So that's everything we have in the dish. You can just give it a quick stir. Put it on the lid, turn it on to high, and wait. I took the liberty of putting the dish together earlier today so we, I could cook it and then I could show you folks actually what it looked like when it was finished. So this particular batch I made in a small slow cooker. So, and here we have it. Nice and hot, colorful, and lots of veggies. And grains and rice and all the good stuff. So spoon it up, nice and hot lots of texture. I guess you could say it's like a stew. It's like a, a chunky, chunky stew. Oops, a little bit messy. Now for those of you who aren't vegan or vegetarian, totally fine. I cooked some chicken. You could grab a rotisserie chicken at Walmart or you could add shrimp to the dish. and plate it up with some chicken. So I timed this dish when I made it today actually because I usually just wing it when I, I plug it in and turn it on. But on the high setting, it actually took two and a half hours. Now, if you were to put it on the low setting, and don't forget, this is also in a small one and a half quart slow cooker. I would think on the low setting, would be probably three hours plus. We have our final dish ready to go, looking awesome, looking colorful, and the aroma from the dish is absolutely amazing. It smells so great. So I'm going to have my cameraman do a taste test, and while he's taste testing the dish, I'm going to give you a few extra pointers to remember while you're cooking and while you're prepping this easy dish. So a few things that uh, I'd like you to remember is that there's no real need to uh, measure ingredients. I mean, it's what you like. If you like fewer veggies, maybe you like more rice, just go ahead and do it. The only thing you would have to remember is to adjust the amount of broth that you use. For grain options or rice and lentils, quinoa is a nice substitute. Uh, it's good for variety. Uh, the mung dal, which is, uh, those are cheap lentils you should find in the grocery section, and serve that with, with basmati rice, or red lentils are a good alternative as well. You can start the slow cooker on high or low, but if you do, be mindful that you've got the thing cranked to high. So, and also you should keep in mind if you use a bigger slow cooker, 
it is going to take longer. That's why I liked the little slow cooker because for one person, even a small or a large serving, it doesn't take very long, a couple of hours and, and it's good to go. Don't forget to add more liquid as it's cooking. So when you stop to kick your tires, make sure you have a look at the dish, make sure it's not too dry and add a little bit more vegetable broth. So check as often as you have time and you can also make it up the night before. You can make it up in the crock pot, cover it with plastic, throw it in your refrigerator the next day, drop it in the crock pot, plug it in and it's good to go if you have the extra time. Now the prep time for this, I timed myself the other day. Now mind you, I know the recipe like I know the back of my hand. It took me less than five minutes and that's going to the fridge, getting the veggies out, chopping the veggies up, throwing them in and adding everything to the dish under five minutes. So you can make the dish in less than five minutes, couple hours to cook, and you have a, a wonderful, nutritious meal. Okay, Mr. Cameraman, what do you think? You know, I'm not much of a, a vegetable eater, obviously, being a male. Um, <sighs> once you get in there and you really try all the spices in with the vegetables, and especially with the meat, it's just such a good combination, and it doesn't feel nearly as filling as, say, like a, like a pizza or something a lot more greasy like that. So I would definitely recommend this if you guys want to start taking the steps to eating healthy. So if you like today's quick and easy recipe, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can catch more of our smart trucking lifestyle videos.